Hello, I am Christy Matheson, Curatorial Assistant here at the McManus. I am standing in our 20th Century Gallery, which is currently showcasing our Hidden Histories exhibition. It's an exhibition that aims to represent historically marginalised groups as artists and sitters. One such work is this abstract oil painting by Lil Nielsen, which was painted around 1994 to 1995, and it is entitled We Are We In This? And it marks what she herself described as a beginning again in her art. Born in Kirkcaldy in 1938, Nielsen has often been associated with the highly regarded artist Joan Eardley, whom she met at Hospital Field Graduate Art School in Arbroath, where Eardley tutored her. They were to become very close after Eardley invited her to stay at her cottage in Catterline on the Kincardinshire coast in 1962. The two became lovers and unsurprisingly, Nielsen was hugely impacted by Eardley's untimely death from breast cancer in 1963. Nielsen's early work has often been compared to Eardley's and found to be extremely similar in style and palette. Indeed, they were drawing from the same source, the Catiline land and seascape. However, Nielsen justified this similarity when she explained that she was, and I quote, trying to do immaculately what she had been doing, to try and bring her back in a sense for myself, trying to get in touch with something about her that I thought I'd lost. In a sense then, initially, Nielsen chose to stay in the shadow of Erdogan's spirit, perhaps sacrificing some of her own artistic vision in order to feel close to a lost love. But this would develop in time as Nielsen was becoming a very powerful artist in her own right. There is a marked shift in style and palette for Nielsen. She no longer painted direct from nature, as she had done in Catalan, but she now painted from an inner world, influenced by mythology, travel, the spiritual, and with a new emphasis on light, rebirth, and the acceptance of the duality of all things. She has said herself about this new style of painting, to do with this theme of light and dark, the duality of life, because you can't really have one without the other. It is like dispelling the darkness as well as recognizing it, that it is there. It's to do with this thing of denial and just not wanting to face the dark side. I'm trying to see both. I'm trying to see the darkness and the light and recognize that both are in my life and not just one nice, light, joyful being, which I'm not. Indeed, in looking at this work, the viewer is stunned by the light that seems to radiate from it. It is abstract in form, yet it seems to speak to us on another level of understanding. The cross lines through the light form are slightly off-centre, leading our mind's eye to create a humanoid form, cocooned in light, ready to emerge transformed. The kaleidoscopic colours in the background suggest the nuance of darkness, the myriad ways supposed darkness can surprise and enchant us, just as bright light can blind us. Nielsen has used vibrant colours in this work, in a large scale, and to me at least this conveys a sense of hopefulness for the future and an acceptance, if not respect, for the unknown. The inner landscape of the soul rather than the outer landscape of the body is the source of inspiration in Nielsen's later works. And this is why I am so drawn to this painting. To me, it serves as a beacon of hope, a small beacon of hope and resolution in a world that is often confusing and problematic. 